Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending January the 14th, 2022. A lot of headwinds out there, okay, in the form of uh, stimulus ending. Retail sales weren't that great through uh, the Christmas holiday, uh, and so Q4 uh, 2021. Uh, rate hikes continuing, employment issues and bottleneck, supply chain bottlenecks continue uh, to uh, to persist. So, uh, with the threat of rate hikes uh, looming larger as analysts continue to look at that, we're looking right about two, a little over two hours into the trading session today, and the NASDAQ's the one that's uh, taking it on the chin the worst. NASDAQ's struggling to hold that 14,770 level. Uh, it's been uh, it, it's been uh, above it, down it this week, and and, and holding at it right now, and, uh, and and struggling on both sides. So that seems to be where the line of scrimmage is uh, for the Nasdaq right now. If it goes ahead and breaks below that 14,770, I think uh, we've got some serious uh, additional rotation going on. Uh, as far as big tech is concerned, okay, they compare that to the Russell uh, through the S and P 500, and uh, the S and P 500 is in uh, much better uh, shape, and, and, and it's a, a little bit below uh, 4884 was where we would have liked to have seen it. Right now, it's around 4630 uh, and change, and so, uh, but it's it's well still into the bullish. Uh, bullish side of the fence there so there's still some hope for the S&P 500 as it were this week and they and, it, and the same could be said uh, for the Russell 1000 although you have to look at the Russell 1000 it's a little bit uh, a little bit more negative than the S&P and uh, talked about it's consolidating over the past uh, five six weeks uh, period and uh, it looked like it was going to break uh, to the upside out of that out of that wedge that had been forming and uh, instead, it's going to close this week. It looks like on the downside, still holding right at the at the line of scrimmage, as it were, right at the fence in the middle of our zone of confidence here, that uh, on on the bullish side. But uh, uh, this too could change. So what we're seeing here against all these headwinds are uh, a, a change of sentiment, leaning slightly more bearish now. We're not in correction territory. We're not in uh, the Nasdaq's getting close to correction territory for continues to break down. Uh, we're we're just in uh, in, in rotational uh, shift right now again. But um, but uh, you know we keeping our eye on it. And so uh, as we go into earnings next week, we have five. Everybody's going always looking for a civil bullet or or that big stock tip. So we believe in compartmentalization of portfolios, okay? And so everybody always has a little fun money out there. So for those of you with some fun money, uh, we believe that uh, these sectors are, are the best sectors uh, over the past month that have held on. And so keep your eye, and these companies within those uh, top sectors, um, energy being the top over the past month since the rotation started, uh, industrials, uh, Etc. Consumer uh, staples, that type of thing. So uh, look for Schwab. Uh, financials are, are always, you know, predicted to do better in a rising rate environment. So Schwab uh, predicted to to expect uh, to beat earnings next week. Uh, maybe have a good earnings surprise and, and, and get a pop out of that. Uh, J. B. Hunt uh, Transport. So transportation is a good sector. C. S. X. as well. Schlumberger, a, a big oil well servicing company for the energy sector and then for financials, BOK financials. So those are some hot tips for you for next week. If you're so inclined for some fun money, watch those. See if they have some good uh, earning surprise and, and, and they, may, they may bang one out for the rest of the quarter. Okay. So if all of this is sounding like it's a little bit too wonky for you, a little bit too much, a, a, a little scary out there with all the volatility, and uh, we love it, so it's not work for us, uh, give us a call. All right, let's sit down, chat, and uh, see what you're looking for, and see how we can uh, come about and make it happen for you in a safe, uh, secure, and happy environment. So until next time, if we can help, give us a call. All right, 404-348-4120. AssetGuidanceGroup.com. Shoot us an email, WNicholsAssetGuidanceGroup.com. All right, stay safe, stay happy. If you happen to get that Omicron, remember to get something good to th numb that throat. You'll be over with it uh, in about a week if, uh, if all, everything goes for you. All the best. See you next week.